Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel which is called Mathematics, channel with really interesting, quick and relaxing question. And in this video we have this question, on the first side this is like a very easy question, we have 5 minus 5 divided by 5 minus 5. But many won't get right, many will get wrong with this question, everyone make this mistake right here and I wanted to record this video. So on the first side this is like the easiest question you've ever seen, because we have only subtraction, only division right here, and right here we have options, so it's not like a complicated question with like uh, square roots, with sine, cosine, this is like very easy question, so right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself, doesn't matter you study at school or you graduated, you can easily check check this knowledge, check our answers in the end of the video, it will be really great, so just trust me, it is really interesting and great question, everyone make this mistake and let's try to solve this, let's try to check our answers. So here is our question, here is our option, I hope you choose one and only one correct answer. Before solving this I want to start with this note, so right here we have 5 minus 5 divided by 5 minus 5. So here is our question. And one part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, 5 minus 5 equal to equal to 0, yeah, and right here we have the same thing, we have 5 minus 5 equal to 0 as well. So we have 0 divided by 0, maybe someone write that this is equal to 0, someone don't know about this answer, so they they confused about this answer, they think, okay, 0 divided by 0, and they don't know how to solve it. This is the first way one part of students solve it like that. Another part of students think that, okay, right here we have 5 minus 5, we have 0, we have like 0, then this 0 we divided by by 5, so we have 0 divided by 5 minus 5, which is equal to like 0 divided by 5 equal to 0, 0 minus 5 equal to minus 5, and they say, okay, right here maybe option B is a correct, right here maybe option A is a correct, and a lot of students solve in a different way, but in math we need to know what is one and only one correct answer. So I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, this is like one part of students solve it like that, they say, okay, 0 correct, they say minus 5 is correct, and right now I'm going to solve it according to a correct order of operation and we will check with these answers, maybe 0 correct, maybe minus 5, I don't know about it, but let's look at a correct order of operation, because in math we cannot solve this question in two ways, like we cannot write that this is equal to 0 and for example minus 10, yeah? We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem, and let's look at this PMDMC order of operation, let's look for example at this order. I respect every order of operation, but for this solution I choose PMDMC, and let's solve this, but I wouldn't say it doesn't matter what order of operation you select, we will have the same answer, okay? So this is like really great uh, thoughts. So first of all, let's go with this to, through this order of PMDMC, right here we have our question, and let's solve this question according to PMDMC, so 5 minus 5, we have divided by 5 minus 5, and we will check with this answer, maybe we'll have correct answer, I don't know. So first step, parentheses, okay, let's look at it, maybe we'll have parentheses right here, no, we don't see any of those, we don't have any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part, we don't have it, okay, which is really great for us, because with parentheses we need to start from this parentheses, we don't have it, and it's it's really great. Okay, exponents, what about exponents, maybe squares, cubes right here, no, I don't see any of those, we have like a regular expression without any exponents, any powers, we have only 5 without any powers, which is which is really good for us, so we just skip this part, skip this exponent part. Multiplication part and division part, because according to PMDMC, multiplication and division, this is one common group, and we need to find this sign, where do we have this multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it, where do we have a multiplication and division sign, so right here, here we have, right here we have a subtraction, we don't need it, yeah, right here we have division sign, which is really good, and we, do, we have subtraction, but we don't need it right now. So we don't have multi multiplication sign, we have we have this division sign. And this is really great, because right now we need to start from this division. We don't have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, but we have division. This is our first step. But I want to, to go further and let's look at it. Addition and subtraction, this is our last group. So right here we have subtraction part, right here and right here we have this subtraction part. We don't have addition part, obviously, we don't have any ad addition sign. And as you can see right here, addition is division and subtraction, this is different groups and division is before subtraction, all the time, doesn't matter, you will have like over here multiplication then subtraction, you need to multiply it first. As you can see with about this order, division is before subtraction all the time, so we have 5 
minus 5 divided by 5. This is our first step. Not 5 minus 5 first step, not like 0 divided by 5. This is absolutely wrong solution. Just forget about it. This is very bad solution. The um, students solve it like that when they don't know about order of operation. They go from left to right or they type it in, in, in a like, calculator from left to right, which, which you don't know about order of operation. So we have 5 minus 5 divided by 5 equal to equal to 1 and we have this minus 5. So right now you don't, you don't need this uh, PMDMC because right here we have regular like subtraction. We have 5 minus 1 equal to <coughs> equal to 4 and 4 minus 1 equal to 4, 4 minus 5 sorry equal to minus 1 so we have option c minus 1 option c really great really great solution but i feel one part of you solve it like zero i feel like that uh, this is a very bad solution but don't i don't think that this is like a huge mistake this is like a bad mistake but in the same way if you learn how can you solve it correctly you forget about this and you will solve this correctly all the time so right here we have answer Option C, and this is minus one, option C. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. This is like very tricky question. And um, yeah, it looks like that. One part of students solve like minus one, minus five, another by uh, like the zero. But I hope most of you solve it like minus one. This is really great. And I'm proud of you that you solve it correctly and like that. I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. I hope you will solve this correctly and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.